Welcome, this is the Operation Safety Maintenance Troubleshooting and Repair Guide for the Power Cube, the Universal Hydraulic Power Unit as of December 2011 at Factory Farm. Okay, so there's a couple of general comments to make about the equipment that you're being presented with. First of all, this is life-size, real dangerous equipment and all safety and operation procedures should be followed at all times, otherwise you lose, you risk getting injured, hurt, or even killed by these machines. They operate, they operate on 27 to 54 horsepower typically. That is not a plaything, serious equipment. The thing to keep in mind about the present release is that we are now in a beta release stage, meaning about 150 or so hours of field testing that we've put on these machines, but that's not, not enough to actually see all that can go wrong with these machines maybe there are still failure modes we haven't seen and only after thousands and thousands of hours of testing will the machine really stabilize and get ready for general adoption by the rest of the world so right now this is for the developers and makers people who are aware uh, we do not recommend this to be used by people who do, do not have awareness of their body of, of heavy equipment we do not recommend that you use these things alone and you should all, always wear safety equipment such as hard hats, eye protection, ear protection, gloves and things when dealing with this equipment. There's another important point to keep in mind about these machines that, that open source ecology is producing open plans distributed to the whole world so a lot of the machines may be custom. So be careful if you're exposed to one or more of the machines because they may each be slightly different. Basic operations and safety on a power cube. So it's a hydraulic power unit with an engine connected to a hydraulic pump. This is a hydraulic fluid reservoir that, that the pump draws through the inlet. This is the fuel tank, return line filter, hydraulic cooler. You need a cooling system on a power cube to keep the temperature down and there's a fan. And that's basically a power cube, an engine with a hydraulic pump where the output is hydraulic fluid that couples with quick connectors to the power cube. Here are the, just to show you, uh, look at the outlet on this side here. Here's the pump. So this is the engine, this is the pump. This very small unit transfers 27 horsepower through flexible hoses to whatever device you have and here's the return hose back into the system turn the machine on just the basic operations after you fill the gas the hydraulic fluid is filled uh, use a dipstick to measure the level of the hydraulic fluid uh, so then it's a turnkey operation turn the switch on here's our switch <laughs> turn that there's a if, if you're starting for the first time make sure that the, the throttle uh, the choke is on just to, just for startup basic procedures um, just make sure that the hydraulic fluid level is filled because if, if it isn't and the pump is running dry, the pump will simply heat up and wear out. Uh, that's the main consideration. Check that all the hoses and connections are tight. Uh, the, the hydraulic hoses don't have any, any breaks in them. How do you replace one of these power cubes on a tractor or move it around? Well, it's got quick attach connections so that Life Track or another tractor can pick it up or you can pick it up with a hoist from the top but the way it's designed is, is you have these attach plates that attach right to the tractor frame and you can put on one or two power cubes right now we have two power cubes on the tractor so that's the basics um, turn it on and you've got power in the fluid form coming to whatever device you need what's the maintenance that's required well make sure that you change the oil in the engine from time to time Here's the oil filler cap right here and check that the oil level is good. Uh, here we have full and that's pretty good. Uh, the battery might need replacement from time to time every few years. Maintenance, the main, main deal about this is that it's, it is the engine unit and, and the engines here have about a thousand year lifetime so, so this device in order to achieve lifetime design has has the simple principle that you'll replace the engine once the engine wears out 
and now we're, we are going to go to modern steam engine and hopefully those will last actually much longer. Troubleshooting. Main things that could go wrong here, it's battery and startup are the main things. Make sure your battery, battery connections are tight, wires are not, not loose. Uh, it is, in cold weather this starts up really well because it's also, it's gas, so no problems there. As long as you keep the oil, oil replaced every so often and the hydraulic fluid level filled, this should last for many, many years. The, the only repair issues for longevity of this device is replacing the engine every so often. If the pump breaks, you can replace it readily. There's two bolts that hold the pump on and there's a coupler that attaches the pump to the engine. The pump can be replaced readily. To adjust, the only adjustment that, that this device has at present is this plate that holds the pump. Uh, you see the four bolt setup. You can, <clears throat> to make sure that if, if you have to replace the pump, take off these nuts. Uh, when, when you're putting in a new pump in, make sure the pump will go in, attach the bolt. If you need to level it, make sure, make sure that the engine and the pump are fully aligned. And to, to do any adjustment on alignment, uh, you will take off these bolts, make the proper alignment, and, and you know that it's properly aligned when you can spin. If the engine actually can be spun from the top, when the pump is attached, then you know that the alignment is perfect. To test, um, because you can't spin the pump freely, what you need to do is make sure that you connect the outlet of the pump to the return line of the system so that the fluid has a continuous path if you're going to spin spin the pump to, to make sure that, um, that the alignment is perfect. So as long as the alignment on a, on a pump and engine is good, that's basically uh, the main thing. Uh, the things that you can take off here are the fan, the hydraulic cooler can also come off, so those, those are replaceable. Otherwise the tanks, the hydraulic tank and the f fuel tank are pretty much welded on. Safety. Uh, this is a, a device that runs on gasoline. The fuel tank is right here. So the, the biggest thing about it would probably be make sure that when you're handling gas you don't cause any explosions. Uh, you fill it from the top, here's the fuel cap. Um, point to, to keep in mind, there's a muffler here, there's engine is hot, don't spill the gas, don't spill fuel on a muffler when you're filling the power cube. That's, that, that would be perhaps the main, main safety issue. And of course, the, don't stick your hands in the power cube when, when it's operating. It's a, fast moving engine, the top of the engine also rotates so don't touch that, there's a fan. Also note that the hydraulic fluid gets hot so don't get yourself burned on this, the muffler is hot and things like that.